How's it going, y'all? My name's Nick. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I think are the best free effects plugins you can get today. These effects are available for Mac and PC. They're in no particular order, and we'll have the links available in the description. So up first, we've got a distortion plugin called Crush from TriTick. Crush features bit crushing, downsampling, and overdrive. It combines the crispy taste of the digital realm with the warmth of its drive stage and analog modeled filters. All of these parameters are able to be controlled by the modulators, which allows for unique sound design. Next up, we have an awesome delay plugin called Baby Come Back from Baby Audio. This was actually developed in collaboration with Computer Music Magazine. It's a light version of the Comeback Kid, which is their award-winning delay echo plugin. I think it sounds really nice on guitar and vocals. And my favorite feature is this flavor section that allows you to jump between different flavors, including wide, analog, saucy, and cheap. I feel like a good test for delay plugins is to take the time parameter and adjust it in real time. If you don't hear a lot of artifacts and it's smooth, it's high quality. She's not your type of girl. Yeah. She's gonna break, break. Break, yeah. She's gonna break, break, break. Also from Baby Audio is Magic Switch, a high quality chorus plugin. It has a simple one button UI and apparently it's loosely inspired on the Juno 60 analog chorus effect, but with its own unique character. And I mean, you have to appreciate the attention to detail here. They put in surface imperfections on the UI to give it an aged feeling. And I really like that touch. Next up is another distortion plugin called More by Mod Sound. This is touted as the one knob distortion plugin with too many knobs. It features five distortion circuit modes, including a transistor fuzz pedal and a diode distortion circuit. These are modeled from the world of guitar and they have a really nice crunch to them. This next plugin is helpful no matter what genre you produce, and that is Yulene's Loudness Meter. This plugin is also featured in our video, Five Mastering Myths You've Believed This Whole Time. We'll have that linked up at the top right of the screen as well as in the description. While the free version doesn't have all the bells and whistles of the pro version, the core functionality is all there, and that is getting an accurate sense of your loudness, your dynamics, which is incredibly important if you're mastering yourself and I would say if you're posting on TikTok, Instagram, or any other social platform, you can use this plugin to get a good sense of how loud your track will be compared to others.
I found this extremely helpful to use this on reference tracks to get a sense of how loud my favorite artists are. This next one's technically a bundle of effects because it's a modular rack. It's Voltage Modular Nucleus 2 by Cherry Audio. This has a collection of 22 modules, tons of presets. It shines with its skeuomorphic design and its highly customizable UI. I've always found the barrier to entry seems so high for modular synthesis because the gear was so expensive. So the fact that this is free is awesome. If you are ever interested in modular synthesis, definitely check this one out. Next up, we have three plugins from Valhalla, and that is Supermassive, Space Modulator, and Freak Echo. Supermassive is a lush reverb based off 12 unique modes, all of which are named after constellations, which is pretty awesome. The warp knob acts as a macro and controls hidden parameters for each of these unique modes. This plugin is incredibly versatile for sound design, and I honestly think it's competitive with several paid plugins. Could you put me first? Could you be that trust in three little words? But better than nothing. Could you put me first? Trust in three little words. Space Modulator is a flanger that features 11 different algorithms. The feedback parameter allows for infinite feedback, and I found that's very useful for resampling and unique sound design. Freak Echo is a Bode style frequency shifter mixed with an analog echo emulation, making it perfect for dub or any other genre you want to add laser like effects. I've actually combined some of these in a work in progress to show you them in action. So the main instrument is actually a three times oscillator and I'm using all these free effects to sound design it and make it a little darker and give it a little more unique character. Here it is with all the effects off. I use space modulator to give the sound a wider feeling. More is adding some grit to the sound. Things get pretty fun when we get into the baby comeback delay. I could definitely see automating this to get some more movement in the sound. And I'm running it through the voltage modular effects to give it some slight filtering and reverb. Magic switch is going to make it sound a little bigger. And just a little bit of reverb with Supermassive. Up next is Amp by Producer R&B. This is a soft clipper, EQ, and stereo effect, so really helpful for your basic dynamics. The developer said it was specifically intended to make your drums punchier, more present, and demanding in a mix. I found it very useful on buses, as well as individual instruments when I wanted to increase the perceived loudness. This next plugin is touted as a sonic retox engine, and that is Influx by FKFX. Essentially, this is a rhythmic resonator and distortion plugin. You can create your own custom LFO shapes, and I find this really inspiring on pads, drums, and bass sounds.
shut the fuck up. That's actually the next plugin that is by Zeke. And this is a volume shaping plugin. It's super easy to use. It can be automatically synced to your host's BPM or triggered by MIDI, and it's always sample accurate. You can easily crossfade between two envelopes. If you're looking for something simple to do that volume side chaining effect, look no further. Klon Minotaur is a distortion plugin by Nembrini Audio. It was modeled after the Klon Centaur, a guitar overdrive pedal developed between 1990 and 1994. It's characterized as a transparent overdrive, meaning it adds gain to the signal without significantly altering the tone. Next is Tape Cassette 2 by Kalem Audio. This is a plugin that emulates warmth, noise, and character of old tape cassettes. It features dynamic saturation with oversampling, a wow and flutter engine. It's a great plugin to add a lo fi texture to any sound. And lastly, we have the L12X Solid State Amplifier by Audio Ridi. This is an analog simulation inspired by the Marshall Lee 12 Solid State Amplifier of the late 80s. They've also added a cabinet simulator. This will allow for extra coloration of the sound. Here's another beat I made using mainly these plugins to sculpt the sound. So I use the L12X solid state amplifier on this beginning Omnisphere instance. Adds that nice crunch. I resampled some of the chords to make this freeze at the beginning. That was playing around with super massive. The main chords have OTT to really bring out the mid and highs. On the main chords, I'm using Shut the Fuck Up to add movement to the sound. All the drums are going through a bus with amp to make sure they're nice and punchy. Finally, I wanted to add a section to this video called the classics. These are maybe not the newest plugins, but ones you should definitely be aware of and definitely have in your arsenal. And that is Camel Crusher, OTT, Span, Melda Production Bundle, Fracture, and Pancake. If you're unfamiliar with these plugins, look them up, get them. We'll also have them in the description. I'll have the sounds I used in those works in progress 
There'll be in a collection in the description. If you enjoyed the video, want to see more like it, leave a thumbs up. That really helps the channel as well as subscribing, turning on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. There are so many great plugins out there and I know I missed a few. So if you have any others you want to add to this list, leave them in the comments below. As always, stay creative, stay inspired. I'll see everyone next time. Later, y'all.